In this tutorial, I'll go through the process of determining when to add which types of custom instrumentation, adding the custom instrumentation, and interpreting the results of my custom instrumentation. While it's important to understand when to add custom instrumentation as well as what type and how, it's equally important to understand how to interpret the results of what you add. I like to think of this as an iterative process that starts with diagnosing the problem and moves to instrumenting a transaction and then leads to discovery. Once you get to the solution or level of monitoring you want, you can implement the desired changes in your app's code or monitor the transactions as needed. So I'm going to take you through an example where I added custom instrumentation to my demo calendar app written in Ruby in three progressive stages to uncover a performance problem. I recently added custom data about my app's search features, and I want to check on its performance. So I'll go into my transactions dashboard in my APM account to see how the custom data is performing. And I see that my search transaction is sitting at the top of the list as the most time consuming. I'll open that and scroll down to a transaction trace. The first trace I see took over 26 seconds. That's not good. I'll open that up and see if I can diagnose what's going on. And here's the trace summary chart. I see this huge chunk of time represented in brown, showing me that a table.html partial took 79% of the total time. Wow, let's take a look at the trace details. Here I see a big chunk of time highlighted in red, but I can't see any further details about what's going on here. There was another transaction I looked at earlier where I was able to unfold a section that took a ton of time, which revealed an enormous number of calls being made to the database as well as a problematic database call. And I was able to look at that in order to diagnose the performance problem. It's possible the same thing is going on here, lots and lots of calls being made, or it could be a slow performing bit of code, but I can't tell because I just don't have any more details. So, I'm going to add some custom instrumentation here to dig into this and figure out what's going on. I'll switch over to my code and open the events table partial and see what custom instrumentation methods I will need to use. Looking through this file, I can see that I have a method called calculate row spans, which I can use the method tracer on to find out how long it's taking. Because I'm in a partial, I'll have to use extend and then call the add method tracer method on self.class. Then I'll give this tracer a name. Since it's custom instrumentation, I'll start with the prefix custom, and then I chose the category search, and the label, which will be specific to the instrumented segment, in this case, calculate row spans. If this method, calculate row spans, was being called elsewhere, or I suspected that it was and wanted to trace it to be sure, I would need to create an initializer. Here's an example of an initializer I made where I monkey patched or reopened the class where calculate row spans is defined. I included the method tracer module and called add method tracer with the symbol calculate row spans like this. If we discover that the method calculate row spans is causing the performance problem and I need to monitor this code over a longer period of time, I might want to add the tracer directly into the class definition, which makes it easier for me and other developers working on the code to find and maintain. Now I've got the method tracer in place, but I'm pretty sure the problem I want to investigate isn't solely in this method, so I'm going to add a tracer around a block of code. I'll add a tracer to the block of code I want traced by calling the method trace execution scoped. So the full tracer looks like this, self.class trace execution scoped square bracket custom slash search slash event table row do. And I'll add end after the last thing I want traced. Before I add more tracers within this block of code to really pin down the problem, I want to make sure I've wrapped the right section of code first. To do this, I'll push this code and collect some new data and transaction traces. If for any reason I wasn't able to just push code like this, I can test this custom instrumentation on a local version of my app using New Relic's local developer mode. To learn more about this, visit the docs site. I'll switch back over to my APM account to see what I can discover at this level of custom instrumentation. Back in my search transactions, I found the most recent transaction trace with my custom instrumentation in it. Below the summary chart, I see my custom instrumentation event table row next to the category custom. So I'll open the trace details in order to diagnose what's going on with this transaction. I notice right away that events controller search is still taking almost 83% of the time. And I see that almost 40% of that 83% above 
is in the search.html template, which has two event search partials. The first one listed took almost 20% of the time, so I'll open that one and take a closer look. 9% of the time was in table.html partial, and when I open that, I see my traced method calculate row spans. But it's such a minuscule part of the total time, it's clear that isn't the problem here. Underneath that, I see the segment I created, event table row. And while there are a lot of them, most of them are taking less than 1% of the time, with the exception of the two at the top here taking almost 7% of the time. And I still have a quarter of the time in red, with no further information about what is going on inside. I think I've captured the right block of code here, but it looks like I need to dig a little further to figure out what's going on with these application code chunks in red and yellow. So it's clear I need to do some further instrumentation to know what's going on. I'll flip back to my code, and you can see here nested inside my tracer called table row, I've broken out three sections that seem like reasonable segments to examine individually based on what they're doing. The first traced segment I named times, the second segment is named URL, and the third segment is named details. I picked these three because I want to make sure each segment is small enough with just a few things going on inside that I'll be able to pinpoint the troublemakers. Okay, now I'm ready to push this new code and collect some new data and transaction traces. I'll switch back over to my APM account to see what I can discover at this second level of custom instrumentation. Here I am in a transaction trace with my new custom instrumentation. Wow, right away I see the segment details is taking 76% of the total time, while my other two sections are both less than 5% of the total time. Let's take a look at the trace details. I see the search section.html partial took 96% of the total time, and over 88% of that time was in the table.html partial. When I unfold the 41 fast method calls, I see my three custom instrumented segments, time, URL, and details. While none of these are very large chunks of time, there are a lot of them. And between the 42 fast method calls and the 174 fast method calls, there's one lone mysterious event table row details that took a whopping 31% of the time. This seems like an outlier to me, but I also notice when I unfold more of the fast method calls, the details segment is almost always taking the most time. So I'm feeling pretty confident right now that the problem is both there are a lot of calls being made and that there's something kind of slow in the details segment. Well, I got some pretty conclusive info from my last transaction trace. I do want to verify this before I make any big changes to my code. However, the amount of time for my three segments was so small, rather than break them down even further, I'm just going to reorganize them a bit. So I'll flip back to my code, and this time I'm going to lump the contents of the time and URL segments together, and I'm going to break out the contents of details into four separate segments, each containing a single item. So I've got start time, venue info, event description, and event URL. And now, one last time, I'll push this code, and I'm going to collect some new data and transaction traces and see what I can discover at this level of custom instrumentation. So here we are in a transaction trace, and I see in the summary that almost 40% of the total time was spent in the event description. Start time was almost 20% of the total time, which we know is doing some date time calculation, so it makes sense that this took more time. And then we have 20% of the total time in an unknown remainder. Everything else took less than 10% of the total time. By now, I've really narrowed down my search to two key items, event descriptions and times, which make up 60% of the total time. So I'm gonna open the trace details and see if I can diagnose the problem from here. Right away, I see that 85% of the total time was spent in the search section.html partial, and almost 72% of that time is in table.html partial. So I'll scroll down and see what's inside the partial. I have a table row open, and I notice that even though we're looking at a fraction of a percent, the times and event description segments took the most time. Here's a table row that took a lot more time than all the others, and I see that almost 2% of the time for this single row was spent in event description. As I scroll down, I see there are a lot of table rows. And when I open a few other rows at random, I see that event description is consistently the most time-consuming segment. I'm thinking that one obvious fix here is to add pagination to my search feature so my app doesn't have to pull up all the event results at once. But I also want to take a look at what's going on with my event descriptions.
So I'll flip back to my table.html file and look at my traced segment called descriptions. I see there are two method calls here, event.description and format description. I'll open the code for both of those methods. And I see event.description is very simple, but format description is surprisingly complicated. It looks like format description sanitizes, converts from markdown, and adds links. All of these actions can be very time consuming and easily explains the poor performance. And not only is this process going to be slower, it's happening anytime a search is made, but I know that event descriptions only get displayed when a single event is clicked on, not when a list of events is shown. I'm gonna double check that the search function doesn't rely on this for finding events, but I think I can simply get rid of this segment entirely and cut my performance time almost in half right there. I'm also going to add some pagination to cut down on the number of calls made, and that should be enough to make my transaction performance much faster. Now I've implemented my fix, let's take a look at a transaction and see how it's performing. The first thing I notice is that my search transaction is no longer sitting on top of the list for most time consuming transactions. And when I scroll down to my transaction traces, I see the longest trace took just under one second, which is about four times faster than the first trace I looked at when I started. The trace summary is showing me that the two database calls took about 45% of the time and the start time took about 20%, which is consistent with what we were seeing before. Event controller search took 15% of the time and everything else took under 10% of the time. There might be some other things I could do with the database, event time, and the event controller to make these things even faster, but I'm feeling pretty good with my overall transaction time here. And in the trace details, again, the database calls are each taking about 23% of the time, but their real time is about two tenths of a second, which is pretty fast for my app. Scrolling down even further, I see my table.html partial took about 20% of the time, but again, the real time is about two tenths of a second, over four times faster than it was before. And finally, I noticed that I only have 37 fast method calls one slower table row, and another 12 fast method calls, which took collectively just over two tenths of a second. That's 200 fewer rows, making this four times faster as well. I'm gonna call this a huge success.